Hey everyone, Lauren Wireman here, creator of Wildflowers Nails. I love this glitter. This glitter is called Bang, and it is one of my absolute favorites for the 4th of July. So I figured it was about that time of year to show you all how easy it actually is to encapsulate this, even with just regular gel polish. Here it is encapsulated. Now there's an enhancement on this nail but the glitter is actually encapsulated in the very top layer, which is always best because it's easiest to get off when they come for their next appointment, uh, but it's just encapsulated in some gel polish, so let me show you how it's done. Here is the glitter. Now, I have mine in a little travel size stacker because I travel everywhere, but it's, it's in a 10 gram jar when it comes to you. Here's the nail that I'm going to put it on. So I've just grabbed some black gel polish and I'm applying the black gel polish to my enhancement. Uh, I'm making sure to put it on just like I would as if I was putting it on my client. You don't wanna put it any thicker because then you'll have trouble with curing. Um, black is usually extremely pigmented. At this point, I'm gonna take a piece of paper and put this underneath the nail. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I can catch the excess and use this on my client's other fingers. You don't wanna catch the excess and dump it back into the jar. But what I like to do, this is my technique. I'm a tapper. I love to tap the glitter onto the nail. I've become quite skilled at it over the years, years of tapping glitter. You have to kind of check which way the wind's blowing as you start tapping. But that's usually the best. It really doesn't leave too much waste uh, either for me when I do it that way. Some of you, it might go a little bit differently. But more important, this is a crucial and critical step. Anytime you're putting chunky glitter into wet gel polish, you have to move around the outer perimeter and make sure that those pieces of glitter are either on or off of the nail. They cannot be hanging halfway on and halfway off because what will happen is you'll cure it, you'll go to coat over it to encapsulate it, you're going to get places where um, the glitter is going to want to lift up, it's going to be catchy when it grows out around the back. You don't want any of that for your client. And then if they pick it and have trouble, they're going to end up coming back to you anyway before they're due, and you don't want to have to deal with that. So it's best to be neat and tidy. Take the extra minute to work your way around to make sure you're neat and tidy. Now, looking at this nail, you can see it's still sticking up. Um, the perimeter is good, but what I'm going to do now is just make sure that we're filled in everywhere, and I'm going to gently just press down with my finger to ensure that this stuff is laying nice and flat. Now you could use a silicone tool for this too. It's really up to you. It's so mesmerizing. I just want to keep on spinning this finger around and staring at it. Cure that. I'm going to use the Wildflower Scrubby Brush to just remove any excess. You can use a stiff nail brush to do this as well. Um, working my way around, making sure uh, that there isn't anything that's caught on there that's possibly loose. And then I'm going to use the new Wildflowers Top Coat Gel to encapsulate. The reason I'm choosing this to encapsulate is because it's thicker than our metallic top coat. So I'm going to use this. I'm just applying it with the brush that comes right in the bottle. And you want to take your time on this part. Make sure you don't leave any bald spots because the glitter catches the brush and it's weird. It doesn't go on smooth. So really take your time and make sure you've got it completely covered. You're going to have to do this maybe twice to get it level. This is what it looks like after the first time. You can see it's still a little bit bumpy, but no problems here. We're just going to take a sponge buffer. This is a 180 sponge buffer, and I'm gonna buff it. It's going to take the shine away. It's gonna look scary, but don't worry, because when you come back over with the top coat, everything is going to be just as shiny as it was. So as you can see here, taking my time, coating over, checking to make sure. Again, you can repeat the process if you still have some bumpy spots, but look at how amazing this glitter looks encapsulated. 
And again, it doesn't need to be deep down. If I can avoid encapsulating things deep down in the nail, I try to because this is so much easier to deal with when my client comes back. Try this for the 4th of July. Tag us if you try it. I hope you love it. Again, this is bang. creator of Wildflowers Nails. I have packed up my nail brushes and I'm traveling across the United States this summer in 2018 mm -hmm. to teach nail art classes to professionals and students and to visit nail schools. So uh, go to our website wildflowersnails.com to see where I'm headed and to sign up for classes. Hope to see you.